This is the ultrasound of a 16 years old uh, unmarried young girl with history of malaria. This is the longitudinal section of the uterus and uh, we see it measures Seven point five centimeters in length, three point seven centimeter in anterior posterior diameter, and uh, this is the urinary bladder, anterior myometrium. This is the cervix, posterior myometrium. This area. Now there is an area of uh, interest to be noted, which is the possible cause of uh, malaria. I am going to trace this area. It is the endometrial canal, in fact. Thick, ecogenic, central. Now this area that, has, uh, that I have uh, uh, marked is, uh, uh, is in fact uh, the endometrial canal. Now what we see is that uh, there is uh, and this encircled area, this one, is the endometrial canal measuring 22 point in, or 23 mm, say, or 2.3 centimeter. 2.3 centimeter, normal 1.4. So thick ecogenic rim around the central uh, anechoic area of uh, fluid. Uh, or, uh, fluid within the endometrial canal and then which is surrounded by a thick its total measurement is uh, 4.2 centimeter by 2.3 centimeter and uh, there is internal fluid within it and uh, the thickness of the ecogen evenly ecogenic it's evenly ecogenic see we don't see any heterogeneity even ecogenic with fluid in the center of this uh, solid ecogenic uh, area uh, relating to the endometrial canal. In longitudinal section, this is the longitudinal section. Going to the transverse view. And applying the color box. Minor vessels are seen within it. Small, tiny vascular structures are seen outside the uh, uh, in the myometrium, outside this ecogenic area, with the internal uh, uh, central hypoechoic area with fluid within it that we saw in. Uh, longitudinal section. Now these are few vessels uh, that we can see within this ecogenic ring. In fact, I am going to give you a trace again. Uh, if I can get through this machine, I don't know. But let's try. Well, anyways, this is the outer ring. This is the internal ring and uh, 2.6 from this dimension is the measurement and the internal as a central area measures 7.4 now what is this this is the ovary and here we can see the ileate vessels I mean, I 
what it has done its review. Let's do it again. Color box. This is these are the ID vessels over here. Both we can see uh, R3 and R3. Okay, now, having seen this, this area is in fact representative of uh, the right ovary. This is the right ovary follicle, this is a follicle, this follicle measures 22.5 mm and this is consistent with uh, a follicular cyst. Uh, up to 18 we consider if this uh, cystic area internally clear with posterior wall enhancement if this had measured up to 18 then we could have said that this is a dominant follicle but it is measuring about 24 so anything between 18 to 24 mm is considered as a uh, follicular cyst This is the left side, and uh, on the left side, this is the ovary. <laughs> Few follicles are seen of small size. This is a follicle. This is the ovary. Anyway, so no significant uh, pathology seen relating to the. Uh, So, anyways, a young girl, 16 years of age, with a history of menorrhagia, and uh, this is what we are seeing, and th that there is, uh, I am without any the lab profile, I am going to uh, give my differentials, that there is an approximately measuring uh, 26 mm evenly ecogenic solar area that relates to the endometrial canal has a central fluid uh, in the uh, has a central fluid in the central part of it we do see small amount of fluid and uh, this is the uh, uh, right follicular cyst and this is the urinary bladder otherwise there is no other uh, finding relating to the uh, oh, adenexa, the thickness of uh, the ecogenic rim, this one around this, uh, sorry, fluid, around fluid in the center of this solid area, this ecogenic rim is consistent, it measures approximately 8.0 mm. And, and the other thing is that uh, in this uh, endometrial canal, there is no significant blood flow seen. Thank you very much.